Alright, hey guys, Grotastic Productions here, and I need your guys' help. What set should I build? I mean, I'm gonna pick it right now, but I don't know. Will it be an Avengers one? Or this Minecraft one? Or this one? Let's do this one. Yep, this, this is the one. This is the one. So this is gonna be a new style of video called Brutastic Reviews, where I review a Lego set uh, that I'm building at the time. Um, this isn't my sig fig, by the way. This is, I'm gonna use this for the Peter Parker minifigure that comes in this set, because it's definitely a lot better and more accurate. Um, but without further ado, let's get into Spider-Man Far From Home, Hydro-Man Attack. Very nice set. So yeah, let's go. Alright, so this set seems to have four bags in it. We got one, two, three, and four all in here. We also have a small sticker sheet, which I don't think I'm going to put the stickers on, but I'll get to that later. We also have the spiderweb accessories, the instruction manual, and obviously the box. Um, so I'm going to be starting at bag one, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm going to review the set as I build each bag, basically. So I'll show you what happens every what it the set looks like after every bag goes in, and uh, maybe I'll even do some stop motion. Who knows? Uh, or not stop motion, but time lapse. Um, not on this particular build, but on like maybe some smaller builds, I'll do some stop uh, time lapse. But yeah, let's get the build going. All right. So after the first bag, we have two builds. We have this little canoe with what I guess this is supposed to be an oar. Um, so yeah, very neat little build, but what I really like is this Hydro Man. He, he's pretty awesome. I love the, the translucent blue that looks like water waves going around and looks really nice. The figure is really good as well. So now moving on to the second bag, which will be the start of the bridge. All right, after, after bag two, we have the base of the bridge, basically. <laughs> basically. Um, but yeah, you got the arch right here put in. This is for a play feature. We have a rat, a slice of pizza, and a ring. Well, what should, what's most likely a ring or some, it's a jewel, basically, uh, in there. And now let's get on to bag number three. And there's Mysterious Cape. And after three bags, we have the bridge built up with some spiderweb detailing. We have this little area for the boat to dock. And there's a play feature right back here where you push that and the bridge, the bridge falls, uh, breaks apart. So that's a really uh, neat feature right there. I really like that. Um, and yeah, really, really good overall. Um, but now we are moving on. Oh wait, we also have the Mysterio minifigure. I also missed the Spider-Man figure, um, but I'll review these in a bit. All right, but moving on to the last bag of the set, which will take place right here. And after the fourth and final bag, we have the rest of the set built. We have first off the MJ figure, so we're gonna put her over here with the rest. Um, I didn't put the stickers on, as you can see, so, um, because, I mean, the stickers don't really matter, in my opinion. It, it's just, um, you know, for a newspaper and the cafe uh, design, as well as the water, which isn't really needed for Hydro Man. But, uh, this is, this, this is, build is looking very nice over here. We got a nice lamppost here. We have, we have a nice feature here where you can flip someone in the chair who's, who's, who's sitting there. Um, there's some flower design. Um, there's a spider web right here. There's some leaves on top. There's a really nice architecture design up here And then we have inside the cafe just a just a small little coffee maker right here um, And that's it. So yeah, very nice build um, nice accessories nice Nice everything. It's really nice. Now. Let's look at uh, take a closer look at those figures All right first up is hydro man. Sorry for the flash there, um, but torso looks very nice um, I love how the torso and head and hands are a, a lighter blue than the normal blue. Um, nice back torso printing and even back head printing. Um, no leg printing, but not really needed because you put him inside of his water right here. So, 
There you go. And next figure, we have MJ right here. So nice, um, nice hair piece in black. I don't have that in that color. Um, nice face print exclusive to the set. Also, there's a back face print right here where she's like disturbed or confused. Um, torso printing, nothing special there. Um, that's a common torso piece. So, yeah, there's that figure. Oops, well, that's that's embarrassing. <laughs> Next up we have Mysterio, looking very nice with those power blasts in blue. Now let's take let's take those out for a second. We can see his gold hands, um, his cape in purple. We have this not exclusive, but this new um, this new helmet uh, piece or whatever you want to call it. Um, he has a silver head right there. Let's put that on. And then for his torso print, very nice torso print. Nothing nothing exclusive compared to the other Spider-Man Far From Home sets. Um, and then you got some leg printing down there. All right, and then our final figure, and probably favorite is, whoa, let's get that out of the way, Spider-Man or Peter Parker. Um, so this is probably my favorite figure of the set. We have no printed legs, but we have a really nice torso right there, very nice. Um, in my opinion, I love the his uh, his suit just underneath his normal clothes, and then on the back he got some more design. And that face print I don't think is that accurate, um, but that we had this really nice cap piece or uh, for his mask that he where, where like he's about to pull it over his face, so it's not accurate to the movie, but I love the printing on it, very nice. And what you can do is replace that with his hair piece. So they give you an extra of his hairpiece, and there is also a back facial expression where he's really scared. So yeah, that's all the figures, and yeah, that's basically it, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you want to see more reviews like this. I sort of want to do more. Um, I think this is a good way to review sets, in my opinion, but um, we'll see you guys later. Bye.